Hey guys, Oliver Windows here, and today I am back with another video. And today what I'm going to be doing is installing Windows 98 on the $5 Windows 98 laptop. I bought this on eBay quite a while ago, and it has, um, for some reason, if they would focus... Yeah, I'm using a new camera. I'm using my girlfriend's camera because I didn't know she had it. For some reason, they decided to um, put Microsoft Bob on the Windows 98 boot disk. Not like it really matters, but you know... Uh, because the floppy disk drive is broken on here, so it really doesn't matter. So what I have, not only do I have this, which has the product keys, I'm going to keep it turned over. Um, I also have this keyboard here connected to the laptop so I can type and everything for it. And yeah, uh, that's pretty much it. I'm going to go ahead and get into this. Um, so I think I learned that it, for some reason this disk doesn't actually need a floppy to uh, boot. Because, I mean, it comes with this... Uh, boot floppy here but it doesn't actually need it which is kind of weird but again that has Microsoft up, Microsoft Bob on it and they put the product key on the disc for Bob itself so I'm gonna have to not show me putting the disc into the camera uh, computer itself so uh, let's go ahead and turn it on open that up I might have to restart it after I get it in potentially put it in there Get that out of the way. All right, let's see how long it'll stay focused. All right, cool. It seems to. It seems like it wants to actually load up for me. I got my dogs here. I got here's Dot. Dot is right here. Squeaker is right there, as you can see. Let's get back to the video at hand. All right. So I don't know if this thing has a. I think this is manual focus, but I'm not sure how to keep it. So. Uh, hopefully it stays in focus as much as it as it can. So let's go ahead and boot from the CD. And it's probably going to try and stop focusing, but I'm going to try my best. All right, uh, CD support or from the CD-ROM. And of course, it's going to go through all the setup process. I'm eventually going to get a tripod, especially now that I've got this camera that I can use. And since this camera is 1080p60, it works great. It works great for me. But I have a tripod somewhere, I just, I'm not sure where it is. So now it's going to try and format. Which who knows how long this is going to take. Seems like this is going to take a while, so I'm going to split the video and I'll be right back. Alright, I am back. It has been finished formatting the hard drive. Now it is time to prepare to install Windows. Uh, basically, it'll I have to sit here and wait even longer while setup initializes, but it's going to perform a routine check on the system, etc., etc. So yeah, let's go ahead and press Enter. It's going to do all of this stuff. It's basically scan disk. It's not basically scan disk. It is scan disk. And then the computer should restart, potentially, or maybe, no, it's copying more files. All right, cool. Let's see how long this takes. All right, time for the actual setup process. Let's, all right. Let's see if the camera's going to focus properly. Again, I've never really used this camera before. I wish I knew how to change the ISO on it and all that stuff. All right, let's press continue. Yeah, it looks like my camera is like really, really dark for some reason. Because I don't have bright enough lights, so... We'll just go ahead and keep it for this video, and next time I'll probably just keep using my phone. So let's go ahead and push continue, let it do all the setup process. This setup really didn't change that much until Windows XP, huh? Alright, we want it in the Windows directory. It's going to check for install components, which there isn't any. I went ahead and wiped the hard drive just in case I needed to. I'm surprised it hasn't asked for my product key yet. We're going to do... Uh, I'm going to do custom, see what all to do there. So yeah, I'll go ahead and enable the themes. That's pretty much it. That's all, pretty much all I can do. I'm not sure why themes isn't enabled on purpose. Win 9-8. Let's see if L works. Yes, lap. T does not, so go over here. T, T, OP. Notice how the camera, notice how the camera quality is slowly changing. Would you look at that? I accidentally put a uh, 
money in there somehow. I'm not exactly too sure how, but... And then, I'll just, I don't need a description. Yes, yes, next, alright. Now it's going to copy files, and who knows how long this is going to take. I'm going to stop the recording right here and see if I can get the uh, settings to change and look a little bit better, so give me just a second. Alright, this should be a lot better. See, now I can actually customize it to my liking. Alright, now I've got it to where I can actually scroll through it and customize it to my liking. Scroll down here, etc, etc. Keep it at zero for now and I might change it as we go along. Um, so basically now what it's doing is, as you can see down there, as you can see it's just copying some files. This thing only has a 32 gigabyte SD card in it, so I'm going to have to buy another one. So this, um, this disc actually has Microsoft Plus on it as well. Uh, Microsoft Plus for Windows 98. I guess I'll go ahead and install that on here as well just to get a little look through of it. Make the video a little bit more interesting, if you know what I mean. And the file copy process is actually going a lot better, or a lot quicker than I was expecting it to. But that may be because this laptop originally was supposed to have Windows 98 on it. Um, it honestly, I'm not sure if this is second edition or first edition. I think it's second edition. I think that's what it says on the, the disc, but uh, again, I'm not certain on that. Alright, as you can see down here, the files are very close. To, actually, they are pretty much done being copied. But now I have to go through the restart process, apparently. Let's go ahead and make it a little bit quicker here. I think we should go ahead and do from the hard disk, obviously, since everything's already copied over. Yep. Getting ready to run Windows for the first time. Look at that. That looks so neat. It looks much more vivid on this camera, that's for sure. The camera's gone red, would you look at that? That hard disk head is sure is spinning up, going crazy. Alright, let's do this real quick, get it all right the color, and then back. Alright, so it's asking for my name, I'm gonna do, obviously, Gabe, and my company is A-O-W. I do accept the, the agreement. I swear, if it asks for the product key after it's installed, wow, would you look at that? That is like the dumbest thing I've ever seen. Give me a minute to type in the product key. Alright, I got the product key insert, inserted, I'll go ahead and press finish. And now it's going to go through the driver database and looking for any plug and play items. Which I do actually have one, as you can see down here, but again I'm going to have to figure out how to install the drivers the drivers for it. Um, I bought the I bought that off of Amazon, I think. I'm pretty sure I bought this off of Amazon. I'm not I don't remember. It might have been eBay. But they included a, a little piece of paper. Uh, it's like a third party seller. They included a piece of paper explaining how to actually install it on Windows 98. But if you think about it, Windows 98 doesn't really work too well. Are you using a PC card? Yeah to install Windows. I've never actually seen this pop-up before. No, I'm not. Okay, cool. I'm not exactly sure what I just went through there. Honestly, I've never really seen any of these screens before. This takes so much longer than if it was on a VM. It's crazy. I heard something click, so I might have found the speakers. Alright, time to restart the computer, of course. I hope it has enough support to where I don't have to uh, hold down the power button and whatnot, you know, whenever it says it is safe to shut down your computer. I hope I'm not going to have to do that if whenever I have this installed. Alright, now there's your default Windows 98 boot screen. Of course, it's still doing the Windows 98 setup stuff. Alright, I'm going to pause it here and let it do all this stuff so I can save storage and all that and don't have to worry about editing as much either. And I'll pull it back up whenever the next menu shows up. Alright, now it's asking me my date and the date and time and the time zone and all that. It is currently October 14th, 2022. And the my time zone is in the eastern time. It is 9.19, I'll go ahead and press apply and OK. Normally I'll just press OK, but I don't know why I decided to push apply first. 
So now it's doing the, it's updating all the shortcuts and everything up here. All right, cool. Now it says there's nine minutes left, but you and I both know it's going to take a little bit longer than that. You can see how long this is taking here to update the system settings. All right, and again, I will be right back when the next menu shows up. All right, as you can see, it is at now asking to restart now. I'm not sure what's going to happen next, if I'm being honest. Let's let it load up here, and I'll be able to push enter and all that whenever it asks me. I heard the click of the speakers again. Hopefully they actually work. I am not going to enter a password. Of course, it's found new hardware. It's going to install all of them. I guess it's just talking about the monitor, it seems. It's kind of weird how this camera like makes the carpet in my hand look red, but as you can see, the screen looks normal. It's kind of strange. So right now it's going to go ahead and update all the settings, all the system settings and all that stuff. And there we go. We are now in Windows 98. And it seems to me like the audio drivers do not work, which is very, very unfortunate. And it seems like the display drivers don't work either, which is even more unfortunate. But that's to be expected. Um, I did find, actually, uh, an operating system for this specific laptop, so I will uh, install that, and it is a Windows 98 as well. I could have went ahead and, and while well, I looked at that down there, it actually knows a uh, laptop. But I would have... Um, see, Windows XP doesn't have this feature. This laptop has infrared on it, and it's like able to control TVs and all that. And it says it's disabled, but I'm going to enable it. Look at that. I can actually customize it now. Cool. Alright, now I know I can use the infrared on Windows 98. I'm not exactly sure what it's for, but I can do it. Um, let's go ahead and look through it a little bit to see if I can actually find, you know, maybe the control panel, install some audio drivers, etc., etc., I might not be able to, but hey, you never know. So the multimedia audio device, the Ethernet controller, and the communication device. Not really sure, but let's try the audio device. Okay. I don't know why I made it select A, honestly, because the A drive doesn't really work. Hopefully it just ignores it. Alright, I'm going to have to keep that. I'm just going to ignore that. I'll figure all that out later. Let's go ahead and uh, check the properties and see if any of this actually is like works. At least looks okay. It appears that it's just going to look um, like you know, no, uh, no drivers, basically. But it does come with more, um, more screensavers and all that because I enabled that thing on the, uh, setup process. So, what I'm going to do is the flying objects as like always. Of course, it's going to look like junk. But, let's change the appearance. No, not the appearance. Smooth edges, window contents while dragging, apply, web settings, no, settings, normal settings. That's sad. I can't change any of it right now. Alright, so let's go ahead and install uh, Windows 98 Plus uh, on here as well. And I know I don't, I basically did what the video says. I installed Windows 98 on the $5 Windows, $5 Windows 98 laptop. But as you can see, I didn't actually uh, install the drivers or any of that. So let's go ahead and run the setup for 98. And while I'm at it, no, I'll go ahead and continue on with this. 
Next, next, next. All right, while it does all that, I'm going to try and go to control panel and go down to the hardware. Oops, go away. No, the display is what I need to get to, not the hardware. And then I'm going to go to the mono adapter and change it. And let's see if they have that uh, ATI one. This, I'm going to go ahead and display a list. Have disk. No, I don't have disk. Show all hardware. All right, ATI technologies. Yeah, that's what I thought. They have a bunch of ATI stuff, but I don't remember the name of it. So give me just a second to do some more research on this, just to, and, and I'll get back. Alright, I decided not to do the research right yet, because this has finished virus scanning. I'm going ahead and press next on it, and let it run through. Let's do the complete, of course. And then next, and then now it's going to be copying all the files. I wish I knew what the... Uh, screen is i mean the dis the um graphics uh thing is because i'm on the b master page but it doesn't actually tell me which i'm kind of surprised about it's kind of it's kind of crazy if you think about it all right now i'm doing the research while this is uh installing all right so it says it has i'll go ahead and show you right here if it's going to focus it says right there Somewhere around here. Yeah, right here. ATI Rage Mobility P video with AGP2X. Not exactly sure what that means. But I see ATI Rage right here. And well, Rage slash Rage 2. I'm going to just go ahead and select that in hopes that it works. Let's go ahead and press next and yes. And then next. And let that copy. And, Microsoft, and then wait on it to load because, all right. Let's not configure that right now. Press finish. I also found the audio driver, so I went ahead and did that. So it's asking to restart the computer. Let's hope this works. Let's press yes. And if this doesn't work, then I messed up and I am going to reinstall it with the Dell ISO later on. So if this is if this messes up, it's gonna be the end of the video. I'm still gonna post it because I did do what I said. I installed Windows 98 on the $5 Windows 98 laptop. Uh, let's go ahead and see if it loads, and then, yeah, that's pretty much it. We'll see if it works or not. I like the little loading screen that Plus adds onto it, and it makes it all colorful down here. So far, so good. We still do have display, but we'll see if it actually displays like it's supposed to. And so far, I don't hear any audio either. Yeah, it seems like there isn't any audio or anything, so go ahead and close out of this whenever it loads. Come on now. There we go. And close you out of the way. Seems not to want to load that much anymore now that I installed Plus. There it goes. Let's just check the multimedia now, right now just in case. Nope, no playback devices. Didn't think so. Go to Properties. Uh, they kind of change stuff on me. Unknown device. Yeah. So they also have an ISO that's full of the drivers too, I'm pretty sure. So, so yeah guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please hit that like button, subscribe if you're new. Uh, that's going to be the end of the video for today. So yeah, um, I will see you guys later. Goodbye guys. <laughs>